Hi guys, and welcome back to Wargame with me, Gary. And today I'm going to do something I've not tried before. It's a tutorial. Uh, now, as you can see, I've got a uh, a knight here, or, a, or or something. I'm not well read up on my Hundred Years War. I will be um, once I start getting into this. But this is the tutorial I'm doing today. Is uh, showing you how I do my desert bases. Um, and I thought I'd start from the very beginning, so I start with cleaning off the flash. So I'll, if I just show, quickly show you that now, uh, I use this um, scalp tool, which which works very well for me. It's uh, it enables me to get into all the creases. It's got a sharp edge on the other side, so I, and I just clean them off, um, get in there get those bits and pieces out. I'm hoping you can still see it. Uh, I must say, it's the first time I've tried doing this, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Hang on, let's get rid of that. I'll try and keep my big thumb out of the way. Hang on. I've done that. Right, and then I take off these bits around the side. Oh, let me just, there we are. So I take off these bits around the side there. And then, now what I do for the bits on the bottom, now, so I have a little bit of sandpaper there, and I just give them a little rub. And the purpose of doing the, the bit on the bottom is because it'll make it nice and smooth so that, let me just there we are, makes it nice and smooth so that when I glue it, where are we? So let's just move that out of the way a minute. When I glue it, it stands up. So after I finish that, I have a little bit of impact glue and a multi purpose impact glue, and all I do is you can see my base there, oops, and the figure, I just put some glue, let me just make sure I get that all in view, a little bit on there, try not to do too much, with this glue it's a bit, it's a bit stringy, I don't know why that is, all right, all right now, so just put a little bit on there, and then I place him on there, a little bit of press, and that's the first part, and I and I thought I would do uh, the whole how how I do the whole figure. So um, so this first part. So the second part, as you can see, I've got one prepared already, so he's already been stuck on. And now these are my actually my ancient Syrians. And what I do is I take a little bit of filler. Uh, if I can just show you, I use this uh, Wilco's uh, once and for all all purpose filler. Ready, ready for mix, yeah? And then you see, it's nothing special, just a little bit of filler. Still using my tool here. I take a little bit off. Not too much. All right, and so yeah, as you see, I've got a little bit on there. I take the figure, trying to keep it in shot. And I just put it on there. Working from the sides. Oops. Working from the edges, I should say. So I'll just finish that. So he's now finished, and as you can see, I'm not going to clean it up too much. I'm not worrying about the base in there because that's uh, when you get them from Black Tree uh, Miniatures anyway. The, the base has got a uh, it, it's got kind of marks on it, so it almost looks like a deserty thing anyway. Now, and you'll notice. I've not put it on smooth. I've, I've purposely kept ridges on it so that it will, um, so, so that we can put a wash and everything else on there, okay? So that's, there's that bit. Now, I'll just go, I've got another one prepared. So I've got these all prepared all the way along. Now this one's actually dried. So the next thing I do 
is I take, uh, I get one of my spears, which is way too long for this guy. So I cut a bit off. So I just take me pliers. Let me see if I just get it right. Just give that a squeeze. It'll bend. And that snaps off. And then the next bit I do is glue this to him. Okay, and I take then I take a little bit of this uh, oops, I'm just gonna in a little bit of this uh, super glue, and this is gel, universal gel. And what I do is I put a little bit, let me just see if we can get that in shot now. So I put a little bit on there on his hand. Now what I've done is I've, I've put the hand in position. You see that? I've put the hand, I've bent the arm in the position so that, because I want all the spears really to stand up, to be facing upwards. Um, purely for uh, putting them on bases, it's much easier. And I put a tiny little bit of glue on the bottom of the, sh the uh, spear which will help that stick to the base and then all I do is, I don't know if you can see because of my big end and then that's, that's, that's that as far as the spear goes so that's stuck on there and I leave that to go off and next I take my, let me just see if I can get that in the shot. So this is from Halfords again, and this is just cheap old um, wall, paint, uh, wall paint. And this one is, what, what colour is this? This is Inca. And that's the closest I could get to a sand colour. If anybody else has seen a better one, let me know, uh, and I will swap. Um, but yeah, so I take a little bit of that, put a little bit of that on my paint tray, oops, the colour's there somewhere, there it is, okay, and then all I do, I've, I've put a little bit of water on there already, a little bit more, and I wonder if I can do that from there, might be easy, you might be able to see better, and then all I do is Paint that all the way around the edges. Now, those of you who do have done something similar to this before, you might have noticed that I've made a tiny little bit of a mistake. Uh, it's not, it's, it's correctable, everything's correctable because it's paint. Um, but what I've done is, at this stage, I would now put primer paint on for everything to be able to be painted on too. Uh, I've jumped the stage, so that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is, so, so this is, let, let's say this guy doesn't have uh, any primer, um, any paint on him at all. Um, so forget that little bit of splash I've put on there, I'll primer over the top of that. Um, so that's, that's that stage, and then, I'm not gonna show you to, uh, spray prime, because I, I know you've all done that. Uh, then I prime, prime the whole figure, okay, which is the bit, which is, which is actually the bit I like the most, priming it, because then it suddenly looks like a, a figure that you're painting, yeah, okay, and then we can go back to where I was, so I jumped that stage, but that's right, I've now corrected it, uh, and all I do is I just paint around the edges, try not to get too much on, um, on the figure itself but it's okay if you do because you're going to paint over it anyway but it's just that the, the less paint you get uh, the less time you paint over something the, the more definition it keeps so I'll just quickly paint that in okay so I've painted that in as you can see uh, all I've done is I've put I just put plenty around it 
Um, I've, I've, I've tried not to put too much on because I, um, I don't want to hide the definition. But it's not, it's not too important. Because as long as you try to stay away from the actual figure itself. Um, and then you have this uh, coat of sandy colour on the base. Don't worry about it if you've gone over the uh, uh, bottom there, um, you know, on the sides. That we, we can put that right, uh, or we will put that right. So, um, so that's him done. Then we go to the next stage. So there is the um, there's one I've I had prepared already. Now I've, I've I did I've said to people that this isn't a difficult technique, yeah, and it's really not. It really isn't. Now. What I have done is I, I've uh, I've made my own wash, which is um, a kind of tan coloured wash, and it was very cheap to do. So all I do then get a little bit of that and put that on the base, and we don't mind. I, I put it now. People tell me, or people say in their videos when I'm watching them, not to put it on too thickly. I don't worry. I don't worry because it's the base. Uh, and what I'm painting onto is only filler. And uh, so I'm not worrying about losing the so called definition on the filler. Mainly because. It actually helps if we allow it to run into all the creases. Okay, and then once that's done. Now I did say there's no it it I think it has a really good result. But it's and it's very simple to do. So you can see, so that's that's that with that painted. So once the wash goes off, you then have this, and you can see what's happened is, so where I've left it to go, like I, I've not worried about uh, the amount I'm spreading, I'll just put it on, and you see it's, it's stayed in all the recesses, and I, I, you know, that, that's, I think that comes out quite nice. And then the last thing I do is I go, I go back to our Inca colour, Right, can you see there? Oops. Now, right, go back to the ink colour, paint that out a bit, and I'll do a dry brush around all the edges. Can you see? Right. So I'll just do a dry, dry brush around there. Now, and there's my, oops, there's my dry brushed figure. And I had one ready just in case that would that went wrong. And I think, um, in the great scheme of things, for me it's, it's a very quick technique. But I think it comes out alright. Now what um, you will notice that what I haven't done is I haven't painted around the, the uh, sides and done the black, which I like to do. I like, I like to do that. I, I think it... It makes the figure pop out more, but I'm not going to do that on these uh, at this stage because it's the base which I hold to do the painting. And to be honest, I've tried it. Well, like, if you put the black on there, then you just start wiping it off. So you're going to have to do it again, which to me makes no point. So um, yeah, so that's that's how I do my bases. Like I said, nothing oh, went out of focus. It's, it's not complex, it's quite simple, you can, from there you can do whatever you want, if you, if you want to put some stones on there, I, I like to, on, uh, you know, because of the, the Assyrians, that they, a lot of their fighting is in deserty areas, uh, and I, so I put a little bit of greenery on, uh, but only every fourth or fifth figure, just just for a little bit, but, um, but you can do, you know, entirely up to you, that's the base, that's the... That's the, that's the foundation of what you can build on from there. So, that's my first tutorial. Uh, story about story about the stuff up in um, uh, in one one of the earlier stages where I started painting this figure before I primed him. But hey.
that's life. And, and you would have noticed that I didn't go around and do it again because, as I've said to everybody before, um, life's much too short. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. So there we are, 15 minutes to do my tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. And um, the next thing I'll do is I'll, I'll do an update uh, on the figures I'm painting on. Uh, and then it's just a question of banging on and trying to get as many of these figures as finished as possible. Because this is my second project. And then what we've just done there is the start of my second project. So um, I'll see you all later. All the very best. Take care. Bye.